Oh, Hi, I'm McCall Christensen, and this is KSL Game Night Live! Go Bengals! A KSL Sports Beat presentation. Game Night Live kicks off now. Presented by SportsmanUtah.com. And hi there once again, everybody. Welcome to Game Night Live. Rod and Jeremiah here. Happy to have you all aboard. Week 8 of the high school football season now in the books. And Jeremiah, now's the time for that playoff push. Yeah, it really is. Teams playing with a greater sense of urgency this week. And it showed with several great games coming down to the final seconds. Okay, let's begin the drama from Thursday night. Riverton and Harriman. Last year, Harriman won on a field goal. This one would be the same type of game. Silverwolves going up top. Caden Jones gets it. And Jones... Finds the pylon. 7 nothing Riverton. Harriman, though, responds with the ground game. Cody Jarvis. Little zigzag, little spinning going on. And he will take it to the end zone. We are tied. Riverton responds, though, with a ground game of its own. Zach Lawless breaking free, and he's got a 64-yard touchdown. Riverton now on top, 21-7, but the Mustangs come back and tie it up. Tomasai Tonga. 31-yard catch and run. We're tied at 28 late in the fourth. Final 15 seconds. Silver Wolves, Gavin Slack, 39-yarder to win it. It is right down the old gazoot. Second straight week that Harriman has lost on a field goal at the end. 31-28 is your final. It's the first time gazoot's ever been used on game Absolutely. night. Absolutely. More drama. Olympus trying to keep their playoff hopes alive against Murray. Murray hops out to an early lead. Drew Cash finds Taylor Liston. 35 yards, and Murray's up 7-0. A couple series later, Mitch Rasmussen takes the punt for the Spartans at the 50, and he's going to take this all the way. 50 yards for the touchdown, and Murray is up 14 to nothing. Olympus starts to fight back. JoJo Henderson jumps in from a yard out, and they cut down the lead to 14. But fourth quarter Titans trying to tie it up. They rallied from 28-7 down. Mason Draper with the touchdown. We're going to overtime. Scoreless in the first overtime. Titans trying a field goal. And it's no good. So the Spartans can end the game on this drive. Drew Cash. Mitch Rasmussen, the hero again. That'll do it. A celebration breaks out. Murray with a big 34-28 win at home. Highland and Skyline. Jeremiah, we go right to overtime again. Highland Thomas Pembroke. Pembroke. Right up the gazoo for the one-yard TD. Skyline's turn, uh, Skyline's turn now to answer. It's fourth down. Braxton Chipman. Chipman to throw. Touchdown. Jack Skyline. Harmon. Skyline's an extra point away from tying this thing up, but they decide to go for two in the win. How gutsy a call is this? Chipman. Chipman. Pressure coming. Avoids the pressure to Harmon again. It's caught. Skyline wins. They're celebrating. Uh oh, hang on. And there is a flag on the play. Harmon stepped out of bounds before making the catch, so they have to do it again. Here comes the pressure. Throw again. Pressure coming. He's going to David Montoya with his third sack of the game. Highland holds on for the 28-27 overtime win. You can catch this game on Xfinity on demand anytime. All right, a Region 2 showdown. Taylorsville and Hunter both undefeated in Region play. Third quarter, Hunter's Joseph Tia Tia. A huge game. This is a 20-yard touchdown. He had a school record 367 yards rushing on the night. We'll hear from him later on in the show. Final seconds of the third. Taylorsville's quarterback, Toa Mau Mau, on the keeper. Powers his way in for the 12-yard touchdown. Taylorsville up 22-19. Let's go to the fourth quarter. Same score. Minutes left in the game. McKay Meidlinger for the fade to Noah Tongiai, the basketball store. His second touchdown of the game gives Hunter a four-point lead. So we go to the final minute. Warriors driving. Mau Mau again. Wow. He dives in for the touchdown. A 29-yard score. That's your game winner. Mau Mau with three rushing touchdowns. One through the air to lead Taylor's double the win. You can also watch this game on Xfinity on demand. And don't forget Taylor's Bills head coach is named Rod. More drama. Corner Canyon number two and four in our kids. Hook coach at Bullet Orem. Orem trail 34 7 at the half. They rallied to tie the game in the fourth quarter. Tucker Camp threw five touchdown passes after an extra point and ties it up 41. But Corner Canyon will drive. Set up Braxton Martinson. 30 yard field goal with three seconds left. Right down the old Gazoot. Middle. Corner Canyon avoids the upset and clinches at least a share of the Region 7 title. This video, courtesy of S Fan TV and Sports Films. Can't believe you got me to say Gazoot. Our Game Night Live crew at 
at Bingham last night. Miners number one in 5A and our KSL coaches poll hosting number four, Jordan. Battle of the state's best defense, Bingham, and the state's all-time leading rusher and passer, Austin Kofensis. You watch this game live on KSL.com. Game of the Week, brought to you by Hut 8. Gehrig hands to Marsh. Marsh cuts through. Aaron Marsh is in for a Bingham touchdown. Miners on the board first. Gehrig's going to throw. Looking. Touchdown, Bingham. Gehrig to Cameron Smith. Four yards, and now Bingham up two touchdowns. Kyle Gehrig looking. Kyle Gehrig now is going to run. Kyle Gehrig now got a touchdown. Eight yards, Kyle Gehrig. We have come to the end of the first quarter after one. All Bingham, Miners, 21. Jordan, nothing. Third down and goal from the 14 for the Miners. Gehrig across the middle, wide open. Touchdown, Bingham. Michael Green again. See what they do here on fourth and eight. Defenses across the middle. Caught. Touchdown, Jordan. Finally, the beat diggers on the board. Once again, Chase Johnson will come out, attempt a 51-yard field goal. And the hold is good. The kick is up. And the kick is good. 51-yard field goal. When did you know that it was going through the uprights? Um, as soon as I saw the hold. It was a good hold, so I knew that I was going to be able to get it through. And at the end of the first half, the Bingham Miners, 34, the Jordan Beat Diggers, 8. Kofensis across the middle, touchdown! Austin Kofensis, A.J. Townsend. Cameron Smith, Cameron Smith pushes his way in the end zone for a touchdown, and the Miners on the board here in the third quarter. Cameron Smith, three-yarder. Kyle Gehrig wants to go deep. Michael Green is there. Michael Green caught it, touchdown! Oh, what a catch by Michael Green, 40 yards. And he got his hand in there and tipped it up, and I could just follow it over my head to catch it on the outside. But it was a little lucky, a little bit of concentration, but it was a good throw, too. When it's your night, it is your night. Kofensis on the keeper. Austin Kofensis right up the middle into the end zone. Austin Kofensis, touchdown run. And after three quarters of play, still all Bingham. 48, the Beat Diggers, 21. Cameron Smith, Cameron Smith breaks free, foot race to the end zone, Cameron Smith in for the touchdown, 37 yards. Uh, big statement once now. Bingham flexing its muscles, 58 to 41. Now Austin Kofensis did throw four touchdowns last night, and that leaves him only four back of Alex Caressa for the state record for touchdown passes. The highlights continue, Brighton and West Jordan, it's thriller season for high school dance teams. Bengals up 56 to 12 at the half. Jaguars trying to claw back in the red zone. Keenan Nollyai takes the pitch. Bengals still way ahead. West Jordan still fighting back. Greg, the quarterback, overthrows his receiver. Just that type of night for the Jaguars. This goes the other way. Dylan Piermain takes it. The Bengals with the blowout win. Six by number two. South Summit and North Summit played each other for the 85th time Friday night, the 10th longest rivalry in state history. South Summit's only loss last year during their run to a state title was to their rival, North Summit. So a little extra motivation here tonight. Let's go to Colville. I like Colville. It's a great place. Things started well for the home team. North Summit forces a fumble. Kaysen DeForest picks it up and returns it inside the 20-yard line. Moments later, Tristan Wilson Hume scores. Braves have a 6-0 lead. Could they do it again? Well, South Summit responds. Second quarter, Ty Jones to Quinn Zimmerman. A great catch in the end zone. Wildcats up 10-6. South Summit was up 17-6. Wild play. Unbelievable, what he fumbled. Oh, Ethan Miles fumbles it after a great catch. North Summit recovers. They drive down the field and score Wilson Hume again. That cut the lead to five. But they wouldn't score again. Colby Averett with his second touchdown run gives South Summit a 24-12 lead. Then it's Isaac Tillett on the carry. 25-yard score. The Wildcats avenge last year's loss with a 31-12 road win. First place on the line in 3A South. Juab hosting Manti. First play of the game, Manti's Brad Sago. Fumble! Picked up by big number 77. That's Ashton Seeley. And just like that, 7-0 with just a few ticks off the clock. 
Wasp up now, 20 to nothing. Templars get on the board. Sago, he gets in, and Manti banking on a comeback. Well, that was squashed, right? Out of halftime. Braxton. See ya. Manti had four turnovers. Juab gets the share of the region title, but it comes at a cost. Star player Diedrich Davidson and Caden Whiting out with season-ending injuries. 1A rivals Rich and Duchesne meet again. A rematch of the last two 1A title games. Right before the half, Rich quarterback Coy Brown finds Jaden Wallentine. Great catch in the end zone. Rich led 19-0 at the half. The Rebels' defense, stellar all day, held Duchesne to the six points. Forced the fumble. Wallentine's there to scoop it up. Rich beats Duchesne for the first time since 2009, ending an eight-game losing streak to the Eagles. All right, we still have plenty of highlights to come. 15, 10, 5, touchdown! More region leads up for grabs. One team trying to avoid being eliminated from the playoff race. That's all coming up. And welcome back to Game Night Live. Woods Cross has already clinched a playoff berth, but they want that Region 6 title. A win last night over Kearns would get them at least a share of that championship and also keep their perfect record intact. Woods Cross coming in at number 3 and 4A, and our KSL coaches pull another impressive performance, too. Tanner Hammond, play action. Finds Keaton Adamson. It's 30 to nothing, Woods Cross in the second quarter. Then the defense will get on the board. Luke Robinson. That's a pick, and that will turn into a 45-yard pick six. Woods Cross clinching at least a share of the Region 6 title. They're 8-0 for the first time in school history. Wow, let's stay in 4A. Region 5, Skyview at Box Elder. B's only down three, heading into the fourth. Skyview quarterback Garrison Beach rolls out, and he's going to keep it himself. That's a touchdown. Bobcats up 28-19, now under three to play. Box Elder driving, but Connor Udy fumbles. Picked up by the Bobcats. Skyview goes on to win this one 35 to 19. Their seventh straight win. All right, one of the state's most intense rivalries continuing. Mountain Crest led 7 0 when Logan matches with a huge play right here. King K. Wildman to Hartman Rector. He finds the end zone, 64-yarder. Grizzlies hold off a late rally by the Mustangs. Logan moves to 2-2 two two in region play with a 21-14 win. Fremont and Weber both missed the playoffs last season, but what a difference a year makes. They both entered Thursday's game undefeated in region play. Win or lose, both could clinch playoff spots by the Shot end of the night. Throw. Fremont gets to work early. Fire, Justin Shaw complete. finds Paxton Merrill, and he does the rest on the ground. Lays off the point. That is a lot of yak. 20, 15, 62 yards to be exact. It ends in the end zone and a 7 0 lead. Next drive for Fremont. Shaw, this time to Cole Christensen. A lot of blockers. 14 0 Fremont. Looks like they're running away with this, but Weaver gets some momentum later in the first quarter. Shaw throws one up for grabs. Nick Austin's there with the gift. And moments later, quarterback Cole Dean is going to do it himself. It's a 14 yard touchdown run. Weaver trailed just 14-10 at the break. Second half, a lot of defense, but Fremont adds to their lead here. Braxton Porter with a stiff arm. He's going to power his way inside the five-yard line. He would score moments later. Fremont all alone in first place now in Region 1. Both teams did clinch playoff spots. This was a high school rewind game of the week. Watch it anytime on Xfinity On Demand. Okay, Northridge needing a win to stay in the playoff hunt, visiting Davis Thursday. Nice start, Ben Jackson. Drew Jackson! First score of the game. Northridge leads 7 0, but then the darts go to work through the air. Parker Christensen drops a bomb on the Northridge defense. Connor Simonson has a 79 yard touchdown. Then on the ground. Northridge will lose, and they are eliminated from the playoff contention. Huge game in Region 9, number two, Pineview hosting first place in number three, Hurricane. The Tigers tie the game in the second quarter. BYU commit Jeremiah Aramia. Busts through the middle for a big game. Moments later, Aramia finishes where he started. Hurricane. Ties up the game. Ethan Bear made five field goals for Pineview before the Panthers find the end zone. Cody Wilstead connects with Bladen Hosner, a 37-yard touchdown. The game was still in doubt, but not anymore after this. 
Gage off the toss, he picks six. Pineview gets the win. There's now a three-way tie for first in the three double A South. Juan Diego hosting Stansbury. Winner will get at least a share of the three double A North title. First quarter, Stallions show off the horsepower. Landon Stice breaking free. That is a 75-yard touchdown. Stansbury up 21 to seven. Soaring Eagles come back though with 14 unanswered. Dominic Lopez. 12-yard hookup, and we're tied at 21 at the half. Second half, Stansbury coming out on fire. Landon Slice on fire. Slicing through the defense, I had to say it. Breaks this one for a 60-yard touchdown on the first drive of the half, 28-21. Then he matches a 75-yard touchdown run with a 71-yard catch and run. Stice had 234 yards just on scoring plays alone, and it's 35-21 in the third quarter. And Landon Slice would not be finished. This one catches the pitch, and 28 yard, yards later, he's in. Stice scoring 21 points in the third quarter by his lonesome. Stansbury blowing out Juan Diego. Stallions look pretty good now. 63 to 21 there in first place. Prime time performers. Brought to you by Sportsman's Warehouse. All right, our first prime time performer. Hunter running back Joseph Tia Tia, 34 carries, 367 yards, two touchdowns. The 367 yards, that is a school record. And you just saw him land in Stice had a big night on Thursday. The Stansbury running back, 211 yards rushing on just 15 carries, four touchdowns, three or five total yards, helping the Stallions claim that 3 in North title. I'm calling him Landon Slice, slicing through that defense. You saw it live here on KSL.com. Last night, Bingham kicker Chayden Johnston, three field goals against Jordan, including this one. Now, we call it a 51-yarder, which would match his career best. That is a sophomore, but the stats today say it's a 52-yarder, so we're going to go with that. Either way, Kyle Whittingham has another great kicker headed to the hill. Hey, the projector is all warmed up. Get ready, the highlight reel for week eight. Coming up next. Welcome back to Game Night Live. It was another fantastic week of high school football. Last second field goals, overtime drama, and record setting performances. Let's relive it all in this week's highlight reel. Highlight reel, brought to you by Southern Utah University. Oh! 